predict physical properties. We'll use physic, uh, periodic law. And you could, for fun, uh, some of these haven't been discovered at all, but you can use this same idea uh, to do something like this. So let's do this with uh, this is tellurium, uh, polonium, and unhexium. Okay? So I'll, I'll just have to make this up a little bit, but T E P O and then un unhexium. And I'll just make, make up some numbers. Let's say uh, the radius for this first one is 1.8, and for this one is 2.0, and the units will be angstroms. And now we have this unknown one that, let's see, I believe this one might have been discovered, but I don't think anybody knows the radius, so we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll just put R. I think the one easy way to figure this out is to say, well, what's the difference between these two? It would be 0 0.2 angstroms. So that's approximately the amount as you go down the, uh, from row to row, how much each one is increasing. So this would just be 2.0 plus 0.2, or 2.2. And that's it. Is that all right? Yeah. OK. Are they always going to be like very close to each other when we're given like three or? Yeah, if you're given something like this, uh, it would be, they'd be pretty close, meaning they'd all be in the same column, mm -hmm. usually, uh, because usually you're wanting to find something for the next column under. Uh, and it's not exact, but it helps get a general idea of what, say, the radius or melting point or whatever it would be. And I just made up those numbers, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, if we really wanted to be a pain, then... I'd give you like sodium and potassium and ask you about cesium or something. Then you'd have to go down a couple levels. Like the next one down would be 2.4. The undiscovered element down below ununhexium. Okay?